On September 26, 2023, officers responded to a pawn shop to investigate a potential fraud. So what's she, what's going on? She's trying to cash a $24,000 counterfeit check. Hello. And we're going to call on John Hancock. What's this all about? Um, I had received a check in the mail and it was supposed to be a payback out from my pay For what? Unemployment. You were expecting that check for almost $24,000? I wasn't, not really. What, were you expecting a check at all? I knew I was supposed to be getting a check, but I didn't think they were supposed to be that much. Okay. What car did you show up in? It was a Mazda. And why did they leave? Because the wheels running late picking up my kids from school. All right, so why didn't you go pick up your kids from school then? Because I had told them I was coming back about five o'clock. Well, before then. Okay. I mean, something. I mean, this. They're saying this is a fraudulent check. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know the difference. I want to call up Charles and like, hey, come get a. Uh, late unit. Three forty five, two thirty two. This is the check you tried to use. That's the copy of everything. Hey, we're going to get into the, the meat and potatoes in this year. I know you're kind of wondering what's going on. Before I do that, because I've got questions I want to ask you, i got to read you your rights. Doesn't mean you're in trouble. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand each of the rights I just read to you? Yeah. Okay. Um, having your rights in mind, which is what I just read to you, do you want to talk to us and answer questions? I just want to know, like... I would love to explain it to you, but I, the only way I can talk to you is if you agree to talk to us yes. after being yes. advised your rights. Yes. Good? Okay. So, what, what's going on? We're, we're, we're here, you're here, the check's here. What, give me, tell, me, tell me what happened. Basically, okay, I received a check in the mail that was okay. supposed to be for back pay. When did you receive it? Last week. Where? At your house? Yes. Okay. So... I haven't been staying home, honestly. And I called my aunt and I was asking her, like, hey, have I got any mail? And she was like, yeah, you know, you got a couple of. So your aunt stays with you? Yes. Okay. I stayed while I stayed with you. Stay, you stayed your aunt? Okay. Yeah. All right. So she was like, that I had a few pieces of mail in this, that, and third. So I had went to go pick it up. Okay. So after that, that's when um, I noticed that the check had came. Okay. So. I was like, oh, well, you know, boom. So last week when I picked it up, I never ended up cashing it because of, due to my rate schedule, I always got off work late. Okay. And so then after that, that's when I had um came in today because I was off yeah. and to cash the check. And when I tried to use my photo ID on my phone, they was like, no, I needed a physical ID. So I had went and got a physical ID and this happened. So that check was for what? For unemployment. Okay. Have you ever gotten unemployment before? No, I applied once, but like I never received anything, never heard anything goes back. So it was okay. just like. So this is the first time you've ever done unemployment, filed for it, or anything like that. You've never received checks before for unemployment or anything. This is right. the first one. Yes. Okay. Where's the envelope that that came in? Do um, you have it? It was supposed to have been up front if they didn't move it. Okay. Um. Do you remember who it came from? What was on the envelope? It was like, it was a blank envelope with the clear slip and it was a paper in front of it. And then like when you unfold it, it was like the check, the rest of the, well, you know how like you rip off a check? Mm -hmm. That's how it was. When you filed for unemployment, how'd you do it? What, what site did you go to? What did you receive? Did you get like an email after you applied? Did you receive anything? I had basically received a letter saying that I had to submit some more um, information in, but that was the only thing. It Once I had not submitted everything, that was it. Did you submit the paperwork? Yes. Okay. How that was that? I did it online. Like at the time I was doing everything online, but how I had like knew to do like the unemployment stuff, my friend was telling me about it. Mm -hmm. So, she did you ever receive an approval or a denial from them for unemployment i basically i really didn't too much to hear nothing else 
And then it was like I had um, started doing hair, so it was like I wasn't really too focused on it. There's not really anything about this that's not fishy. You know what I mean? None of this makes sense. All right. Um, we're asking you questions because we're trying to gauge where you're at as far as what you're going to tell us and how truthful you're going to be. But I'm going to tell you right now, not a darn thing that's come out of your mouth has made any sense. Okay. 2019, you applied for unemployment. Is that what you said? No, it wasn't. I wouldn't even say it was 2019. I want to say it was 2020. Okay. So let's say it's 2020. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's three years later. Okay. It's 2023, mm -hmm. almost 2024. Mm -hmm. And you receive a check for supposedly what you applied for three years prior. And I'm going to tell you right now, unemployment doesn't give lump checks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, unemployment is a payment See, as if you were working. I never okay. Mm -hmm. And those checks don't come from the treasury. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, but I'm letting you know that I know that. Uh, well, okay. I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. That, like, I never received unemployment. I never got a check from Treasury or anything. So this is like my first time actually receiving something like this. I, I promise okay. you. I'm not lying to just, you. just so you know, for four years, I did fraudulent investigations mm -hmm. for the department. And I saw stuff like this all the time. Mm -hmm. And I'll and I'll tell you right now, the reason we're asking you this, he said we're gauging uh, how truthful you're going to be. I'll tell you right now, this is your chance to be honest because I know exactly what's going on. Um, I can call it exactly like I've seen it every other time before. Somehow, someone came in contact with you, a male, probably the male that's sitting in your car out there in the passenger seat, the black Chevy Malibu, and that person convinced you that you need to go in here and you need to cash this check, and then the payment would be to receive a portion of that check while they get the other. You being a single mom, I don't know if you're getting paid a lot right now. I'm not going to worry about that. But you would get a portion of that money. And they would get the rest. And all you had to do was go in here, show your ID, and here you go, and this is what you got to say, and these people will buy it. And I say that because I recently arrested someone not too long ago for the same similar type of thing here. So, with that being said, we already know the person out in the car because I don't know if you know this or not, but this place has video cameras. Mm -hmm. So they come, or I'm sorry, you come here and they see exactly what cars you come in and out of. Mm -hmm. And they see what cars come at the same time that you come. Right. Well, that car was here earlier with you. Right. So it's well, odd that it's back now and there's a guy that's just been sitting there waiting well, actually, in the passenger seat. Now, my, my question is, is, did this guy contact you through like Instagram? Mm -hmm or Facebook or what and what did he promise you because and maybe he told you that yes this is this is legit and you know this is what it is but I'm telling you right now I know you're full of it um, they try to do this whole thing all the time with people were like here this is this is what it is this is what you're gonna tell them that way it sounds legit or tries to sound legit the problem is is that Treasury check first off it's fake as heck there's there's Man, nothing about that check that's even remotely much. real you wouldn't get a check from the treasurer anyway that comes in a blank envelope in the mail three years later and then you claim it's unemployment. So you can sit here and tell us all day long that this is what you believe it is or this is what you think it is or whatever story they concocted for you. But ultimately, you need to tell us who the person is out there, how they contact you and everything else. Maybe we can help you out. I'm not promising we can, but... Well, this is your chance to be honest because I'm telling you right now, I already know you're lying. I'm going to be completely honest with you. The person that's in the car, that's my little brother. He's a minor. Right. He's 17. He has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with this. That's what I'm going I'm complete, I promise you, I'm completely honest with you. Okay. Number two, the check that came in the mail, basically... My friend helped me apply for unemployment. She told me basically like, you go on his website, you do such and such and such, and that was it. So, so you're gonna stick with that that came in the mail. That's what you're sticking with. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, we're getting to a point where there's a, there's gonna be a line, and once we meet that line of our patience with this, there's gonna be no going back and helping you. I can give you my friend information that helped me do everything.
but you can't you can't show us anything about anything that you applied for any website any email nothing any, that said you're ever going to get money back which doesn't make sense you get it back from the treasury anyway a big lump sum of twenty four thousand dollars three years later after you file for unemployment that makes there's going to be no they're not sense just whatsoever gonna send you a check without some sort of notification especially for that amount and with unemployment, you get approved or you get denied. I've done unemployment before back in the day. Mm. You get approved, you get denied. But it's all notifications to your email, in the mail. You have documentation for everything because that's that's a government entity. And they have to keep records of everything. And you get notifications of every decision that they make. But you can't show us one piece of and documentation. That's, that's what I'm saying to you. I didn't do everything by myself. My friend helped me. I could give my friend information. I could give you a name. Who helped me with it? Everything. I just, I don't, I don't want to give myself. I can give you all the person contact information. Your friend? Yes. Cause okay. that's who what are they going to do? They're going to tell me, uh, yeah, I helped her file for unemployment? I tell you what. I tell you what. Give me your friend's information. While we're here with you, we're going to call her. We're going to see what she says. Like I said, I've done this for a long time. I did this for four years. All kinds of stuff. The only thing that ever changed was the names of the people that did it. That's it. It's the only thing that ever changed. Because I can look at that, that check right there, and I can tell that that is beyond fake. It's laughable. Hey, listen, uh, I've got a question for you. We're down here with uh, uh, a young lady who gave me your number and your name. Okay, she's advising that, um, Did you ever uh, assist her uh, years ago or anything with uh, trying to help her file for unemployment? Did she did she mention anything to you about, did, have, you re have you received any checks or anything like from the U.S. Treasury? I mean, you don't remember where you went through to apply for those? Do me a favor. i got to check on my recruit here. Oh. I can make that with Okay, well, we're here with her. Um, she's here with a, uh, a fake check from the Treasury, so we're, we're trying to figure out. She's trying to basically throw you under the bus, saying that you're the one that um, was the one that showed her how to do all this and, and, and get this and everything. So um, she gave us your number and your name because she's trying to get herself out of trouble. Do you know what you want to do? So, I don't know. I, I don't know. I been out there talking to the employees. I don't know what you've been talking to Officer Dutchman about, Officer Connie. What I can tell you is between the two of them, they have close to like 25 years of experience, like doing this type of stuff. Okay, so like this isn't new. I have a history with financial crime myself, and from my experience, professionally, I can tell you right away that that's a good check. There's a lot of red flags here. And you said that, that that came in an envelope? Yes. Okay. And then, yeah, because I asked these guys, and they don't have the envelope, so. Um, did it possibly yeah, toss the trust? They probably did, because the envelope was on the counter. Okay. All right, I'll have to ask them about it. So you spent a while talking to Officer Dutchman here. No, you spent a while talking to Officer Coney. Who, who, draw, or who brought you here? How did you get here? I drove myself here. You drove yourself? In what car? Uh, Malibu. Who else was in the car with you? My little brother. He's gone. Mm -hmm. He left. Is there a reason that he left? He had to go pick up my kids. Your kids. Okay. Um, based off of what we have here, okay, you're under arrest. Can I call someone? Um, what do you want to call? Let's go ahead and get your handcuff first. Mm -hmm. We'll call when we got the okay? Yeah. All right. Oh, 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 Scrap your license. Scrap your license. Alright, then before you get in my car, get me anything that's gonna poke me seven sticky. No. Nothing illegal. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's the envelope. Oh. Oh, look at that. That says FIS Output Solutions. That's not from the US Treasury. I can tell you that from a fact. Okay. Alright, go ahead and take a seat. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to kind of reach in. Can you like? It's like this mud. Like I'm gonna slide if I. I'll hold on to you. 